Hey, what's up guys? Dustin here, Adam Off-Road. Thanks for stopping by and checking out today's video. I'm super excited to share with you this little camp light invention that I made for the tailgate kitchen on my Jeep Wrangler uh, TJ. And it's pretty simple, anyone can make it. And I'm just gonna kind of walk you through on how I built it and how it works and how convenient it is um, for the Jeep when we're out wheeling or at night camping and cooking on the trail. So uh, without further ado, let's get to work. All right guys, so let's just talk about the nuts and bolts of the build real quick, and then I'll show you how it works. So first of all, the LED, is a single row 12, 12 volt LED. It's very low amps. Um, it doesn't take a lot of energy, but it's super bright and it spreads out the light really good. It's just a single row LED light bar. You can pick it up for like 15 bucks on Amazon. It came with these little L brackets and I ended up using those to mount um, the, the brackets to a, a magnetic strip right here. And this magnetic strip is pretty common. I picked it up at Harbor Freight. It's the one that you can stick like knives and tools and things like that. You can use them in the kitchen or in the garage. Um, I had to shorten it down, but uh, once I was able to shorten it down, I, um, I then wrapped it up with some Gorilla duct tape. That way it doesn't scratch up the paint or anything if I wanna stick it to the tub or the chassis or under the hood. Um, it just gives it a little bit of protection. And then basically I just bolted the light bar to that magnetic strip. So wherever I wanna stick it, I can stick it horizontally, vertically, wherever I want to stick it to get light, anywhere in the Jeep. I soldered the leads to what I call a 10-foot uh, retractable test lead. And basically, it, this thing unwinds and winds like this. And you can get about 10 feet of uh, cable out of this test lead, um, uh, retractable test lead, lead holder. And I cut the test leads off because we're not going to use them. But um, essentially, it unwinds like this and you can get about 10 feet of cabling. And then I just pulled it all apart and, and uh, put this really nice sheathing over it to give it some uh, protection, a little bit more rugged. And, um, and then, I, like I said, I cut off the leads and then I spliced in some connectors to the other end. Now I wanna take you over to the Jeep and show you how my little prototype contact switch is gonna work on the tub of the Jeep and how it lights and illuminates the, the light real nice. Let's get over to the Jeep. As you know, if you watch this channel, you guys probably already know that I've been working on this tail end of the TJ for quite some time and I built a Overland awning. We built a little rack over the tire carrier. It holds my shovels and axes and all this stuff. And basically I'm, I'm building a Jeep where I can pack it up for a week and just take off for a week and go camping. So let's just take a deep dive into that. I'm gonna basically open up the tail end, open up the tailgate. So we got the tailgate open. We gotta go into the cab of the Jeep. And basically I'm gonna install my key into the ignition and roll it back to ACC. And then I have to initiate the power source that we're gonna turn the light on in the back. Um, using my S pod switch. It's going to be right here on the dash. Let me bring you over there. And right now I just have this button right here set up for that uh, power source in the back by my kitchen camp setup. So I'm going to turn that on and then we'll go to the back and talk about the light. Now, a lot of you guys um, know that I have a aftermarket rear bumper and um, I've also made a tailgate table. So the rear brake light spare tire carrier setup um, was no longer needed and i had this contact switch this looks familiar it bolts to the back end of the tailgate and um, a little bit of the backstory is when i made that tailgate table uh, for my kitchen setup i no longer needed these components but i was looking at them and i got a really good idea from this and i'm like well if there's a power source um, available for a rear brake light. What else, what other accessories can I use that for? And that's kind of how I developed this contact switch 
which is very similar to the switch for the rear brake light. This is what you have essentially. You have um, two connect connectors on the back and then you have some contacts right here um, that are pushed through these rubber grommets to isolate the, uh, the contacts from this bracketry. And they just come out like this, like so. And then you have the two contacts and I, I won't no longer need this, but I'm using this these two contacts essentially in the contact block for the light and i just basically took some uh, uhmw plastic material and uh, cut it recessed it glued some strong magnets on it and plugged the wires in uh, to the back of those contacts and essentially i can just stick it to the uh the tub and now i have a power source so this is where i'm getting my power source for the camp light and um, I've already done some improvements to the contact block it works really good I really like how handy it is it just basically just sets on there and then um, I'm pulling a very low current source off of this contact switch so it's not doesn't get hot or anything and I think it works really well for what it what it is designed for so some of the improvements I've already um, got this out in use on in the trail and there's some improvements i wanted to do to this area of the contact block this is like my first little prototype r d design and i've actually reached out some to some friends recently on uh, facebook and uh, square life his name's marius uh, he is a youtuber just like me um, he uh, offered his 3d printer and i basically drew him up some plans sent him over to him he transferred them over to um, a cad drawing where he then was able to print me out a very nice replica, but with some improvements of that contact block. And it has the two holes and then the recessed holes for the magnets. So this is essentially it. He made this with his 3D printer. Came out really neat, very professional, and it's a little bit more finger safe, so you can't touch the contacts. But essentially, um, what we're going to do is I'm going to take some of this 404 Loctite. It's instant adhesive. And I'm just going to throw some glue back down in here like so. And these are the magnets I'm using. They're really strong rare earth magnets. Buy them for a couple bucks. I got these ones at AutoZone. And then I'm just going to set my magnet in there real nice. And uh, essentially get that glued on there. And that's what I've done for both of them. So they're flush with the surface of the contact block. And it looks really clean. I really like the design of this. And this was uh, something that him and I, we came up with and it's gonna work amazingly. So <clears throat> I've got the two contacts here. We'll just press these in the hole like so. And I'm going to disconnect the old contact block and essentially just plug in the wires to the back of those contacts. I did have to trim off some flat sides of the rubber grommets that are isolating these two contact switch from the tub. Um, and I just made them basically trimmed off the sides. So they're rectangular like this. And then essentially I can just plug it in like so. And now I have a finger safe um, contact block that plugs into the side of the Jeep. Very cool, very convenient, and I think it looks great. So that's the light. Um, I have another uh, block here with some, some contacts, and I really want to set this up with my diesel heater because we have a overland camper on the top of the Jeep, and I want to start overlanding in the snow and doing some snow wheeling, so those videos are going to come up. But my plan is to have this set up uh, working for my diesel heater and I've already oversized the wires for this power source here on the back side there are really really heavy wires like this on the back of the wires and I have those um, connected to my s pod and I can control those on my dash so I'm already set up for about 30 amps of power I can pull from these contacts for my diesel heater <laughs> Um, other than that, um, that's pretty much going to con conclude uh, the, the setup and the improvement of the contact block. And uh, I'm going to take this over to the bench and we'll just talk a little bit more about it. 
So guys, it's pretty much gonna wrap it up for the little DIY camp light build. Um, I'm super impressed with the way the contactor came out with, and I wanna give a shout out to Marius from Square Life. Um, he was the one that helped me get this camp light to the next level. I'm super thankful that he was around and offered up his 3D printer. Um, a lot of cool stuff coming from his channel. Check it out, Square Life. He's building a YJ Overlander. Um, he does a lot of wheeling and cool stuff coming out of that channel. Go check him out. I'll leave the description in the description box below, along with all of the materials and parts to build this camp light. It's going to be super cool to also get one of these contact blocks um, uh, ready for my diesel heater. Which that is the plan to do some testing and review in the next video. You'll see me working on that and pumping hot, clean air to that rooftop tent that I have. So I'm super excited to get that video rolling and this diesel heater up for this winter so we can do some camping in the snow. Um, this light is going to be super helpful and handy. Um, Marius and I, we discussed about possibly making a few more of these contact blocks if there was some uh, express, if some viewers expressed some interest in uh, wanting one of these. Um, as possibly like a DIY build. But other than that, uh, we are super excited to move along and get the diesel heater going. The camp light is just the beginning. So hey, if you guys like this uh, video and you've seen any value into it, please hit the like button, consider subscribing, check out some of my other videos that may be helpful to you, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Have a good day, peace out.